To gain admission to this club, it's necessary to appeal to the military, pass certain tests, be made to exacting standards, and above all, fit the taxpayer's budget. For this is the Military Aircraft Club, a club where few are chosen, for the strong and the brave win the day. After all, these craft are primarily required to win wars. The unfortunate ones that don't win are mostly tragic wrecks on the fields of conflict. Powered flight may not have been invented by the military, but it wasn't long after the first rudimentary aircraft took to the skies that various armed forces saw the advantages of including these craft in their arsenal. Today, the place to be for members of the Military Aircraft Club is an international air show where all the latest jet fighters and bombers are exhibited. In South Korea, two F-15K warplanes were proudly presented as the latest acquisition of the South Koreans who had signed up to be the first country to buy them. These are the first of 40 that South Korea had purchased from US company Boeing at an estimated cost of 4 billion US dollars. Boeing had adapted the specifications to match South Korea's regional concerns. The jets were equipped with the latest radar and infrared targeting equipment, as well as advanced electronic warfare computers. Add to the aircraft's usual armaments, Boeing added slammer missiles for use against ships at sea. Most capable multi-role fighter in the world today. Uh, the aircraft is capable of carrying a multitude of weapons. However, I'd like to just focus on the SLAM-ER. 